Good evening, everyone. We're so happy that you're here. If you would like to, you can go ahead and open your Bible to the book of Daniel, chapter 5. Daniel, chapter 5, and verse 29. As you're opening your Bible to Daniel, chapter 5, and verse 29, I'd like for you to think just a moment. If you were to find your world turned upside down this very night, would you still serve God? If by morning's light, everything was different, would you still serve God? For the most, of, most part, all of us, I would say, have relatively easy life, comfort. Problems, yes, ups and downs, it's true, comparatively speaking. So if everything changed, would you still serve God? Think about those that had to go through such, like Abraham, Job, and Daniel. Think about being a, a young man like Daniel and having to be taken away as a captive because your nation was overthrown. And they were overthrown because of their sinful, idol worship, all their ways. But for Daniel, it didn't happen just once. It continued to happen to him throughout life. Continue to serve God. Daniel chapter 5. Belshazzar, of course, the, the writing on the wall, the verses prior to where we're going to begin reading, but beginning in verse 29. Then Belshazzar gave the command, and they clothed Daniel with purple and put a chain of gold around his neck and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be third ruler in the kingdom. This is in the kingdom of Babylon. Babylon was the great ruling power of that day following Assyria and uh, they, they, they were the world power of that time. Daniel had been a captive most all of his life there. And God had blessed him because he continued to serve God faithfully. And so now Daniel is third ruler in the kingdom. Have you ever thought about how many faithful people in the Bible made their way near the top of the nation? Like Joseph, second command of all Egypt as the book of Genesis ends. So Daniel continues to serve God. He wasn't doing it for this or for the recognition, but God blessed him. In verse 30, that very night, Belshazzar, king of the Chaldeans, was slain. Mighty Babylon overtaken in a night. That teaches us not to put too much faith in the temporal, too much faith in the things that are around us, too much of our, uh, of our security in the things that can be taken from us in a night. Just a moment's time, it can all be taken from us. That's the way it was. Babylon didn't think they could fall. They were the greatest world power of that day. But yet in a night, they fell and they were slain. Think if you're Daniel. <laughs> You've just been given this promotion to third in the kingdom. And then the kingdom ends. Within hours, the kingdom ends. It's no longer their kingdom. Darius the Mede received the kingdom being about 62 years old. Of course, you can read about him in the book of Ezra. Chapter 6 and verse 1, It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the whole kingdom. And over these three governors, of whom Daniel was one, that the satraps might give account to them so the king would suffer no loss. So Daniel keeps a, a position of such in this new kingdom with the Medes and the Persians. We see in verse 3, Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. Daniel is still Daniel. Daniel as a captive boy is Daniel. Daniel as an older man is still Daniel. Daniel, when rising above to being one of the top men in the kingdom is still Daniel. Daniel in the lion's den is still Daniel. Daniel didn't allow the circumstances around him to change who he was because he was guided by God. In verse 4, so the governors and satraps sought to find some charge against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find no charge or fault because he was faithful nor was there any error or fault found in him. Integrity. We talked about that Sunday with Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 12, verses 1 through 5. The integrity 
of Samuel. Here's a man that they couldn't find anything wrong. They wanted to find something wrong. They wanted to find all of his problems, all the things they'd done wrong, but they couldn't find any. He wasn't a sinlessly perfect man, but he was one who was striving to live faithful to God. So notice what they did in verse 5. Then these men said, We shall not find any charge against this Daniel unless we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Sometimes evil people will use God against you. But yet we still stand for what is right. Because we know that the kingdoms of this world, they're temporary. The Medes, the Persians, they took over. But, you know, they, they wouldn't last forever. The next kingdom wouldn't last forever. These people would not last forever. Death would come to all of them as they do. We know that we see in the book of Daniel, here's a man that was staying faithful through all of it. This evening we want to encourage you to be faithful to God and continue to serve God faithfully. If we can help you to do so by looking to the Bible to see what you need to do to become a Christian, by becoming a Christian tonight if you're ready to put on Christ in baptism or by returning to ask God's forgiveness if you are a baptized believer. We would love to help you in any way that we can. Please let it be known as we stand and as we sing.